Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review for extending the copy functionality on your Android device. So the first thing you're going to do is install an app called Clipboard Action. Uh, what this does is every time you copy text on your device, it will pick it up and help you easily sh um, do various things with that copy text straight from your notification drawer. So uh, the first things first, uh, after, when you, after you install the app and you open it up, you'll get a bunch of um, settings that you can adjust. So the first one that I keep on all the time is a clipboard service. So basically this allows it to the app to run in the background and detect whenever you copy text and give you the appropriate actions. Uh, the one toggle that I turn on that kind of helps but isn't, it depends on your use if you actually need it on or off is a delete notification. So. Uh, we'll get into this when I copy some text, but um, basically it'll add a delete button So if you want to delete that from your history of copy stuff, you can do that um, You can also do things like have it pinned to your notification drawer So it always stays there no matter what and you don't you're unable to swipe it away But if it is off you can always swipe away that notification um, And then there's things like creating events so detecting um, natural or automatically picking up uh, relatable searches so things like being able to add events to your calendar what when to search for a definition what to not to things like that as well as a download manager finding um, definition shortening urls things like that all of which are available as part of the copy text and it includes things like converting currency so if you want to convert the a dollar into a peso or a rupee or a pound things like that and then things like having a shareable context menu, so the, your default um, share menu on your device, as well as options for your search settings, so um, selecting which search provider to use. So I have mine set to my default for Google, but you can include things like DuckDuckGo or uh, Bing. Mm -hmm. And then also things like sending emails, uh, what happens when you open links, translating it, your copy text and things like that. So with that, I will jump right into mm -hmm. it. Um, so with that, I'll open up Feedly and um, let it load, see what new um, things there are. So let's say I, I'm interested in the Deadpool character guide. So see which characters and things like that are going to show up. Now, let's say I am scrolling, I'm scrolling, and um, I want to do a search for Colossus because I don't know who mm -hmm. Colossus is in the Marvel Universe. So when I hit copy, a uh, checkbox will show up on the top in my notification letting me know that the app is picked up on something I just copied. So when I swipe down, it'll um, if it finds a definition in using the website for dictionary.reference.com, it'll let me know it'll, or it'll show that definition. So um, before I get into that, I'll do the search. So I'll hit the search button. And in this case, it picks up on the Colossus, probably based on my search history in this case, but who Colossus is, the superhero, um, things like that. It has a link. It's just a regular old Google search for Colossus. Mm -hmm. And then the beauty is when you hit your back button, you can go directly back into the app you're using. So in this case, I was in Feedly. So it takes me back to Feedly. Um, if you're, example, for example, in Chrome, you'll go back to Chrome or wherever app you were in last. Um, the other beauty of the of Clipboard Action is that it provides you a de definition based on or by searching dictionary.reference.com. So in this case, it says the Colossus is a legendary broad statue from Rhodes. Um, so let's say I want to learn more about it. So just by touching the definition... It'll tell, give me the context of the word, what the statue is. Um, and I can scroll up and see more information, um, origins of it, and things like that. So you get a bit of extra reference there. Mm -hmm. um, if the if it's unable to find what that definition, or find a definition for the word, you'll just see a little blue book so you can touch it and still do a search that way as well. Now, let's say I want to do a search for Colossus because I really like I would really want I maybe it was a word that I was searching for for somebody and all of a sudden I remembered where, what it was I can simply hit the share button and I get my default share menu that's for my Android device so this is what I get because I'm running uh, sign engine mod but it might look a little bit different here or there if you're on uh, HTC Samsung LG and things like that so I can I get my default share menu and I can go from there um, 
the other thing that's good about this is let's say I want to um, share this particular article with somebody um, via QR code. I can, in this case, I'll hit the share button and I'll do copy to clipboard. The little icon will flash a little bit because it's copying something new. Uh, as you can see on the top, there's the Deadpool character guide and the link. What I'll do is I'll touch the QR code button and it'll generate a QR code. So now my friend can open up his QR code reader, point it at my phone and view that link on his device. So I don't have to email it, text it, nothing like that. Um, especially if it's not something that's permanent or something I want to share quickly and immediately. So um, it can also be for, let's say, a search result that you want to QR that, or a specific address that you have copied. So that way they can open it on their default. Let's say um, if it's an address, their default uh, Maps app, or if it's a phone number, their default phone app. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that. Um, the beauty of the uh, delete button that I mentioned earlier is let's say you copied um, a couple of different things as I did right now, and I want to delete this latest copy link because I no longer need it or I did it by accident. Pushing the delete button will delete that, um, and I'll go back to the prior, the last copied item before the la latest one. And if I push it again, it'll delete that as well. So that um, handles that. Um, a similar thing is available for phone numbers as well in the case of um, clipboard action. So in this case, I'll go to Chrome. Um, as you can see, I did a search earlier for in and out Burger. So let's say I want to uh, call it and um, I want to, for let's say there's no specific, let's say there's no clickable link text. In this case there is, but for the sake of argument, if you're on a website that just has a number listed, you can copy the um, phone number and um, clickable at, or the app will pick up on it so you can push your phone button and it'll open your default phone app and you can call that phone number that way you don't have to uh, switch um, or you don't have to go copying it and going to your phone app and then dialing that way it'll open it directly um, the other beauty of it is that if you go if you have an address you can automatically open maps straight from the copy text so in this case i'll copy the address for this in and out uh, location my little icon is flash so I know that it's picked up on that address and I can click the on map button and it'll do a maps search in this case for in and out on North Nellis Boulevard in Las Vegas mm -hmm. so um, that's basically the bulk of what this app can do so it's definitely uh, worth checking out uh, it definitely allows you to switch between from one app to another doing a quick search getting definitions it's a lightweight all-in-one app that is available for free in Google Play, so definitely worth checking out. So again, that's Clipboard Action. And if you wanna, if you have any questions, have anything you want me to search, see how it works with the app, something that might seem unusual, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com, um, or you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.